So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania once again. And I, at this exact spot where I am right now, I was here yesterday morning. Yeah, so yesterday I was up here with Cole and John and Ryan and Lewis. We did that little adventure where we were looking for the potential plane crash site up there. Well, it was a plane crash site. We were looking for some wreckage. And right here at the beginning where we started hiking, I found a morel mushroom growing. And I almost never find those. I said in that video, the only time I ever find them is when I'm not looking for them. And whenever I do actually go looking for them, I never find them. But I found one yesterday morning. Let me show you where I am, though. So this is the trail for the 500 steps, or it's often called the shower steps, up to up the top of Round Top. We're here in Berks County, my home area. Right here is Route 501. Of course, you can park a little ways up on the on along the highway to get to this trail. I know you're not supposed to reveal your sights for your morel mushrooms, but it doesn't really matter. This is a public property. Well, I'm not sure what. At least you at least have access to the mountain from this trail. Yeah, that one I had found yesterday, I'd set down next to a little log here, planning to pick it up on the way back, but I totally forgot about it. And you might ask, what's the big deal about these mushrooms? But they are one of the, they're edible mushrooms. They're one of the tastiest mushrooms that you can find out here in the woods. And this time of year from mid-April to mid-May is when they grow, and it's they're really popular. Um, but I hardly, I hardly ever found, find them, so when I found that one yesterday, I was like, yes. So anyway, we're gonna look around a little bit. I'm gonna stay on the trail, just, you know, cause I think it's private property on either side. So we're gonna have a look around. I know it's a little bit noisy. We might go up a little bit further, but we're just gonna have a look, see, cause where there's one, there'll probably be others, so. Yeah, I thought this was the little log that I had placed it next to, but I don't see anything down there anymore. Yeah, maybe an animal ate it, or maybe someone else saw it. Oh, right here it is. Someone did find it, and they moved it over. But it's a, uh, it's pretty dried out. Not really edible anymore. But that's what they look like. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could take it home. But I think it's pretty dried out. But there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So it indeed got moved. But I think I found it just a little bit further down this way. So I'm gonna. Just look around, see it was growing, it was right next to the trail, so um, we'll see. Like I said, they are hard to find, but we are gonna look. All right. There are plenty of these beautiful purple violets growing around everywhere, but we need some mushrooms, some morels. But they are very camouflaged. They're kind of hard to see. You have to kind of have an eye for them. Yeah, we're gonna keep looking. Just keeping our eyes open. It's a beautiful day to be out, more hells or not. I got a chipmunk. Oh, let's zoom in on the chipmunk over there. He's scolding me. Where are you? Is that you right there? It is. Yep, I'm just out looking for morels, buddy. You know what, he's probably eating them. All right, buddy. Maybe he's the protector of the morels. <laughs> he knows I'm looking for him. But anyway. It is something to consider though, like, if I saw a morel here, then so have other people probably. So someone may have been through here already and collected them. I actually had a dream about that last night, that I came out here looking for them, and all I found were like the little cut off stems where someone had already harvested them all, and there was none left. So, anyway. But I'm gonna walk up the trail a bit more. Just keep looking. Like I said, where there's one, there usually will be others, but as you can see the May apples are coming up. That's these ones right here. All the way up through here. They might be hiding some morels underneath their leaves. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you know, someone else came up through here, even who knows yesterday, and just saw them growing along, they would pick them all. But maybe they missed one or two. We shall see. <laughs> and you got the garlic mustard growing even up here. 
because it's an invasive species. It grows everywhere now because it's called garlic mustard because that's what the leaves taste like. I did several videos on them, I think. Yeah, like all the May apples. Yeah, the curse of the morel has hit me again. <laughs> Whenever I go looking specifically for them, I never find them, only when I'm not. And they just happen to, anyway. <laughs> but regardless, it's a beautiful day. Just enjoying a leisurely walk. Yesterday when we were walking up here, we were moving along and I'm huffing and puffing, but today I'm just poking along slowly. You know, it's, <laughs> it's kind of nice. And we're still looking for the elusive morel. We'll keep going. I guess technically we did, we did find the one, the one I had found yesterday morning. It was still there. A little, slightly shriveled up a little bit, but so I guess we kind of did find one. <laughs> but I'd like to find some fresh ones or ones actually still, you know, in situ, growing in the ground. Not just for myself, but for you guys to see them too. So let's hope. And we didn't have any luck yesterday finding that plane crash, so maybe our luck will be turned around, find some morels this morning. <laughs> we'll see. But like I said, either way, it's just a, it's a beautiful morning to be out, just taking a leisurely stroll up the mountain here. Mushrooms or no mushrooms. We have some mushrooms over here. They're not morels. Type of a shelf fungi or bracket fungi growing on this tree. Looks like an old cherry tree, actually. Be cool to see some morels just poking up out of there too, but anyway, I don't see any. A lot of times you can find them growing at the base of trees. That's where I found them in the past. You have the ferns emerging, because they call these fiddleheads when they first come out of the ground. They are edible, but I think these are kind of hairy. I think the ones that are not hairy are the more, are the more edible ones, shall we say. But fiddleheads, because they look like the end of a fiddle or a violin, that curly tail. Yeah, just still looking. I almost thought I saw one in here, but it's just a piece of wood. That's what they look like sometimes. Right. So earlier I showed you the purple violets, but they have a. Uh, there are some yellow ones out here too. These are yellow violets. Growing down there. No more morels yet. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're looking. Just making our way slowly up. There's that one monument up here for the was it the Blue Mountain Hiking Club or something? I filmed it yesterday with the guys, so that's probably where I'll stop and make my way slowly back down. Once again, just keep my eyes open for the elusive morel. See, even down here, that's not one. Just see, it looks like a little morel poke up out of leaves, which is a piece of wood. You start seeing things after a while, too. But that's the thing, you know, sometimes when they're first coming up, they are just under the leaves like that, so they're not always easy to find. Oh, yeah, right up here is that monument. Yeah, like I said, just yesterday I was out here with the gang. That's where the trail takes a much steeper <laughs> to get to the top. Yeah, Blue Mountain Park showers 500 steps, dedicated October 27th, 1929. Blue Mountain Eagle Climbing Cub. Yeah, several ladies passed me on their way up there, going up to the top or not. <laughs> cool if there's some morels growing right here <laughs> by the monument, but anyway. I'm going to start making my way back down again. I feel like if there are any out here, they're more likely to be down near the bottom where I found the other one, but it's like, why not just take a walk up here? It's a beautiful day. Fly all the flowers. You can hear the birds singing. So my record still stands. 
whenever I, well, we'll see if it lasts the end of this video, but um, whenever I go out specifically looking for morels, I do not find them. I only ever find them when I'm not out specifically trying to find them. So anyway, yeah, that one yesterday, just I wasn't even looking for them. It just caught the corner of my eye, but I, I noticed it right away. So, but now, anyway, like I said, maybe someone came up through and harvested them already too. Or maybe they're just hiding. You never know. I was hoping we find some on the way down. Maybe some of you are thinking, well, if you didn't find any on the way up, why would you find any on the way down? Well, you're, you're looking at things from a different perspective, you know. You're getting the backwards view, I guess you could say. So sometimes what you didn't see coming on the way up, you might see on the way going down. Or at least we can hope. A lot easier going down, too. Oh, yeah, I would just love to see a big cluster of them. But this is a public trail, too, so, you know, if, if they do have a tendency to grow here, then, you know, people know it. And like I said, they might have already been here to harvest them. Just like my dream told me last night. And here's some other wildflowers. These are the spring beauties. I showed these a couple times to you this spring already. Got some more of those purple violets, some more of the yellow ones. We're finding plenty of wildflowers. How about some morels? <laughs> Again, back down to that area where I found the first one yesterday. And the traffic noise is picking up too, but. So I, spent, I might spend just a little bit more time looking around down this way before giving it up and calling it quits. Yes, the elusive. Morel. Oh, got a big truck coming. The thing is, I know I can find them because, like I said, the one I found yesterday was just, I wasn't even looking for them. I just glanced down, you know, the corner of my eye and I saw it. So it's not that I can't see them. I know what they look like. I know what to look for. It's just whenever I do, let's say, look for them, I never find them. Right down here near the highway is where I found that one. So we'll look around there just a little bit more, even though it's kind of noisy. But once again, here's that one I found yesterday. This is what they look like. A little bit, like I said, it's a little bit dried up, but but you can push the, pitch them in the leaves like this. They can be hard to spot. Like if I take my hand away, whoops, put it up like that, you know, there. A little hard to spot unless you really know what you're looking for. But anyway, there he be. But it would be nice to find just one more. I think actually that one, I think I found it more just right down in here. Um, yeah, just about. Yeah. I don't see any more though. I just found this one growing down here, this wildflower. I don't really know what this one is offhand. Don't recall the name for this one. But anyway, the curse continues, I guess we'll call it. Still haven't found. I, in other words, you know, whenever I, like I say, whenever I try to actually make an actual video where I'm trying to find morels. And, I don't find them, so. 
I found I have found a number over the years, but like I said, whenever I was just filming something else. But anyway, so yeah, we'll call it a curse. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but anyway. All right, but I think that'll be it, folks. We're down by the highway again. Just a nice little jaunt up the trail of it. Listen to birds, finding some wildflowers. Find them. The one, the one morel I found yesterday, but beautiful morning to be out. But I think it's time to we'll head back. Um, Got to get ready for next day's I have final exams to give out. So anyway, as always, thanks for coming along. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, maybe we'll find if this traffic goes by. Hopefully, we'll find mushrooms later this spring. Yet we'll see. Thanks for coming along.